We are not just fighting for ourselves, for the miner and his job. We're fighting for the miner, we're fighting for his neighbor, we're fighting for the communities, we're fighting for youth, we're fighting for services, and we're fighting for the aged. I'm on my way to the former mining town of Easington to speak to the Labour MP Graham Morris, as well as Alan Cummings, former president of the Durham Miners Association, to see what they think about Boris Johnson's recent comments on how Margaret Thatcher's decision to close coal mines in the 1980s was a big early start in tackling climate change. Nice to meet you, lovely to meet you, how are you? I mean, my father was a coal miner, my grandfathers were coal miners. The nature of the industry was that people worked in the uh, local pit, in the local mine, and so there's a very strong sense of community, even 20, 30 years after the last pits have closed. So what was your initial reaction when you heard Boris Johnson's comments about closing the mines and how that was good for the planet? I really thought that Boris Johnson was showing a complete lack of understanding and empathy, even of history. You can't go on investing in new investment, the latest, bestest, safest pits, the best working conditions for the miners, without shutting down the old ones. Margaret Thatcher, whatever else she was, was no eco-warrior. And when those pits closed, you know, and that was the, that was the lifeblood of, of areas like this. There was no regret expressed, you know, there was no concerted effort to replace the jobs that had been lost. So how do you feel about the green agenda, the idea of a green industrial revolution? I think generally people are supportive of the idea of tackling climate change and of reducing CO2 emissions. But when that directly impacts upon them, you know, if the energy prices are higher, for many people that's out of their price range in areas like this. Now I'm off to meet Alan Cummings to find out what the mining community reaction has been to Boris Johnson's comments. Alan was a miner for 30 years and Colliery. worked at Easington Colliery. The colliery, when we get down here, you'll see that the coal owners were very philanthropical by building all the, all the houses right next to shaft. So they didn't have far to go to work. This is the site of the Easington Colliery, the pit site which closed on May the 7th in 1993. This is the community gardens to remember all the men who worked in Aisling Corrie. So when you heard about Boris Johnson's comments around closing the mines in the 80s and how it was good for the planet and good for global warming, what was your initial reaction? I thought it was an absolutely disgusting statement. Today, I'm, I'm going to, a, to a, uh, a coroner's inquest from a former miner, one of my colleagues. Who, who died, and has most probably died as a result of, of industrial disease. Now that's a legacy of that miner who worked underground. And a lot of miners carry that legacy now. And to, and to, to pass out as a joke and laugh against some of the finest people that I've ever represented, I think it's an absolute disgrace. The man should be signed. These communities want a massive cash injection. They want new housing in. These, these colliery houses have outlived the use of this. You know, they were built for a bygone era. We, we need to lift the place up to give work and hope to young people. So although there is a fair amount of hurt and upset about Boris Johnson's comments in mining towns like this one in Easington, the most important thing to local people is a lack of jobs and a lack of opportunities for the generations to come.